uh, have given you the proof of the fraud. If the fraud is proved and you have a trust and you hold property, you can basically shut them down. It's that simple. It is that simple. And we will cover some of this hopefully in future conversations. Um, I'm pretty much uh, uh, done, I think, tonight in terms of covering. I know there's a huge amount just in that short time covered. So what I'd love to do now is, is open up uh, to those that want to ask questions, any questions, comments, uh, and I will try and answer them as honestly as I can. So thank you all for listening to what I've said so far, and um, I, I invite any of you, um, and you see how we go, how organised this can be. If you're not asking a question, please, please mute. But um, I would love, very much like to hear comments and, uh, and questions, and I hope to answer them now. So thank you, and look forward to your questions. Far away. Yes, Frank, this is uh, Larry in Louisiana. Thank you. Uh, this, this is riveting stuff. It's just it's just great. Uh, this, that By that system, uh, we're either uh, dead, lost, or crazy. It's a, I see it as a form of high magic uh, they use. And now, is there any question in your mind why the current Pope of Rome has issued a dictate that you're not allowed to say, sing, or write tetragrammaton. And that last little bit again, because um, I just missed it in the last bit, you're not allowed, by the Pope has said you're not allowed to say, um, sing, or? Or write the tetragrammaton. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, um, I'm not, I'm not, I haven't really done a lot of thought in terms of, of um, the wide-ranging um, bans that the Catholic Church has imposed across a, a wide range of things, not the least um, uh, naturally grown medicines versus synthetic um, medicines produced by private companies through to changing music from 432 hertz to 440 hertz, um, you know, banning certain... Um, uh, forms of um, of ancient uh, worship, so I, I can't I can't give you a straight answer as to their motive, except to say that um, they wish to hold exclusive right for any type and kind of divinity. And if 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 they don't hold that, then what they've sought to do and done a very good job is to convince us all to chase rabbits as far as um, false doctrines. And I, with, again, with the greatest respect to those that believe it to be true, the New Age movement has been an extraordinary success in sending good people and honest people off to believe stuff that's just absolute rubbish. Yeah, I have the paper where he said this, this current Pope of Rome said it. Uh, if uh, I, I'll get a link to you and I'll burn it in and send it to you. You can't say, sing, or write Yahweh because you're too stupid to know how. Well, again, this, this goes to the point of incompetence. I mean, incompetence is their strongest argument against us. And, and I have to say, in, in, in one of the most important things um, that to keep in mind through everything that we talk about and everything that you guys are learning separate to this is I, I don't approach these people with a deep-seated hatred or anger uh, towards them. I, I seek not only to understand how they think, but more importantly, to pray for the inspiration to understand why they think. So in that sense, um, there's a lot of things that they do that, that give us anger, but I thank you for that knowledge, and I look forward to seeing it. Thank you very much. Okay, one more quick little one. Does the O in your name uh, lead back to the uh, Emerald Isle? The O is yes. The O is uh, is you know the grandfather or um, grandson or son of um, uh, the same as Ben in um, in certain use or bar. So yes, yeah, same thing. That's right. Thank thank you, Frank. And please come back. I'll let the next one go. Thank you. Okay. Frank, uh, Michael Joseph here. I, I had two questions for you. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay. First question goes to trust. And uh, can I, I heard you say that uh, that you couldn't be uh, 
beneficiary and uh, trustee in the same trust, but does that go to a sole beneficiary and so and sole trustee, or if you had multiple trustees and multiple beneficiaries, could you not be beneficiary and trustee at the same trust if you were co-beneficiary and co-trustee? No, it, 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 it's an immutable law that cannot be broken, no matter how many trustees or beneficiaries. Okay, thank you for that. Um, and the, the second question that I have is that um, clearly state is trust um, and uh, or built in trust, and uh, um, um, state is also built in survey. Survey leads to claim. And, you know, Genesis 1-1 and Genesis 1-2 are, uh, excuse me, Genesis 1 and Genesis 2 are divine surveys. Yah created everything. And, and I, you know, maybe this is for, for future dis- discussions, but, um, um, is this our, is this rem, not remedy, but is this a, a path that could be taken back to divine standing in terms of recognizing the uh, the de jure survey. Well, you don't want to. You, you, you don't want. There's no remedy in in um, in the world remaining dead, subject to sorcerers um, cursing us as dead in hell. You, would you agree, Michael? I, I I would agree to that, but I would conditionally agree to that because um, I do I do not agree that I am incompetent. And, no, I, I, and I, I know you're far from incompetent, Michael, so um, I, I fully agree. But let, let me continue just to answer that question, and thank you for, for just qualifying that. Um, uh, I, I, hope you, I hope you agree, and I hope this is something that, that, that others agree, <clears throat> in spite of the amount of information tonight, and that is that uh, a testamentary trust, being a trust uh, of a deceased estate uh, holding property, by definition, can't exist unless there exists a, tr- a living trust from which to convey the property first. I hope, hope you all understand that that's a, a piece of logic, right? Uh, yes. If there was only two types of trusts ever created, a testamentary trust, let's call it the United East States, yeah, and then a living trust, well, the United East States could not come into life unless there existed a prior trust. Uh, now, either a, a higher estate, a higher testamentary trust, or if we go back to the very, very, very first estate, there had to exist some living trust first. Well, does that, that make sense? Well, yeah? therein lies the therein lies the solution and the dilemma all in one because this this pyramid is built is upside down, and and it's building um, it's building from a single point. And if you go back to the singularity, there had to be a living estate in order to create anything from it. Uh, and they don't have a living estate's an oxymoron. Uh, an estate is the is the deceased body corporate of a testamentary trust. So, right, that is right. It. It, okay. There so, had to be an inter, sorry, inter vivis trust in order to create it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, I need to add one more thing, and, and sorry to interrupt, Michael, because I, I have the utmost respect for, for, for all that you do, and I say it to everyone on the call. I think you you are one of the people who are trying absolutely to, to understand this and find this and are willing to adopt and learn and amalgamate to, to search for what is the truth. So good on you. I just want to add one thing in, in what I've said, and why I explained that analogy was this. 1302, Ornum Sanctum, from all the evidence that I've researched, that appears to be the first evidence of a of a expressed trust, and therefore a creation of a living trust. I then explained that under E states, the first creation of E states are under Henry VIII. But here's something that is in front of us, and you mentioned it. The original text, in translated when we get to the Synoptic uh, uh, Bibles and other earlier Bibles that. Uh, are now kept in the lock and key that the rare individuals have seen them. Um, it was not called the Old Testament. It was called the Old Covenant. It was not called the New Testament. It was called the New Covenant. Right. Now, what's the significance then of 
scripture being written in the sixth, end of the 16th and the beginning of the 17th century where we see for the first time this concept of Old Testament given what you just said in terms of state, survey, e-state. What is the significance then um, of these things coming out now using words like Old Testament? Well, it goes, we to, see? It goes to, the, um, to the living and the dead, and it also goes to the grantor. The, the, well, uh, testament, but again, Michael, a testament... A testament is a is a, 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 a testament is a will, yeah. So a testament yes. is a part of a deceased estate, a, a, a testamentary trust, yeah. Yeah. So the the Old Testament is a will, and and the will would have to be uh, created. Um, so it's creating Galilee. So then, so it's just the old will and the new will. Yeah, but it used to, wasn't used to be called that. It was called the Old Covenant, which is a totally different thing. And that's an agreement, an agreement. Covenant, an agreement right. right. Now, why would they have converted everything from living to dead? What, what have they done when they turned the whole world into a dead corpse? What were they doing when they went from Old Covenant to Old Testament, New Covenant to New Testament? What, what are we seeing? Remember, we know testamentary trusts came after. They're not the first type of trust. It's the second type of trust. Well, they they're, doing? They're, they're gaining power because if they can teach the people to use uh, Sesta KV, then and they control Sesta KV because the, it came from the higher estate, then then it's a centralization of power and control. No. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, I guess what we're saying here is there is no remedy in testamentary trusts or estates. No one should be playing in that field. I mean, the, yes, you have an, um, if you have a beneficial entitlement, then you have a beneficial entitlement. But you can have that entitlement uh, administered through your own trust. It's the same as someone bequesting you some property all over the world. You can run that, um, um, uh, you can have that through your own superior trust. No problems. But, um, Testamentary trusts and estates were created second, yet they have become the dominant system of control. Then, then the superior position is not trustee. The superior position is executor. The position of uh, power is the executor of the inter vivis trust. Well, the, the, the well. The, the language in a testamentary is, is executor and administrator, which is effectively the trustee, so it's the other way around. So it, being a trustee of a of a uh, unmistakable um, expressed trust that shows the divine right being the divine property conveyed into that trust without any possible argument is going to be the best possible trust that you could ever have. And everyone on the call is entitled to that. Now, if you want to know what I'm talking about, go and have a look at Article 133. Um, and do you have the web up at the moment, Michael Joseph? No, no, I don't. I don't have the ability to have it open right now. Okay. Well, um, when people go and have a look at it, um, uh, uh, when you do have a look at it, go and have a look what an ecclesiastical deed poll is doing. But I, I don't want to. I don't want to um, go too quickly into remedy. And I use that word as a generic sense, or, or solutions, or answers. Just yet, I really wanted to paint the picture of what we're dealing with first. But Article One Three Three and a lot of other things I'd love to talk to everyone on the call about um, goes to the heart of, of how to crush the Roman cult from well, the Roman law. Uh, the Michael Joseph guy, I'm sorry to use that word remedy. I, I, as it came off my lips, I did not in, intend that. What I was thinking about <laughs> is that, is that um, if one were to could go and create today their own um, trust, their own state, in other words, two or more come together with Never a common state, purpose, a trust. And yeah. create, uh, they create a, uh, a trust, a new state, but they but they do it in a manner that's consistent with the the uh, 
agreed upon procedures and um, um, conditions.